Welcome. In this playthrough of Marvel Champions, we're going to have Captain America take on the Wrecking Crew. So for Captain America's deck construction, of course, we have his 15 basic cards that he'll always have. And since this is going to be a fight with four big villains, we're going total aggression here. So two power of aggressions. The Hulk. Going to use three enraged. Hopefully we can get that on the Hulk. Combat training for herself three uppercuts, and three tack teams. And then finishing off using our resources of energy, strength, and genius, three haymakers, a helicarrier, mockingbird, lockjaw, downtime, honorary avenger, and enhanced reflexes. So for villain setup, our main scheme, scenario contents, we can either use Wrecker, Thunderball, Pile Driver, or Bulldozer A as villains, or version B for increased difficulty. That's what I'll be doing here because, well, I'm using Captain America. He needs a challenge. Set up, we'll be putting out the side schemes for each of them. The main section, if we get six thread on here per player, we lose. Forced response, after step one of the villain phase, place one thread on each side scheme. Move the active counter to the villain whose scheme has the most threat. If there's a tie, we get to choose where it goes. So for Bulldozer, once again, this is the B version, slightly more difficult. Scheme of two, attack of three. All the Wrecking Crew have this basic ability that when they scheme, we place threat on their side scheme instead of the main scheme. He also has, when he attacks, he gains overkill, and he comes in with 15 health. In his clear the road side scheme, they all have this basic ability. Card cannot leave play while that villain is in play. He's got charge. After threat is placed here, if there are 10 or more threat here, each player must discard the top 10 cards of their deck, remove all but three threat from the scheme, and it starts with four. And each villain has their own encounter deck of 15 cards. So go ahead and shuffle that and put it in play for Bulldozer. Then we have Pile Driver with two scheme, three attack, retaliate one. And when he schemes, same ability, put it on the side scheme and not the main. 14 health for him. And Pile It On side scheme. So a Pile Drive. After a threat is placed here, 10 or more threat. Each player discards the upgrade or support they control with the highest cost. Remove all but three threat from the scheme, and it has three threat to start with. And his encounter deck. Then we have Thunderball with three scheme, two attack. After your attacks, you deal one damage to each character you control. And he starts with 16 health per player. And Thunderstruck. A Gamma Blast. After threat is placed here, if there's 10 or more threat here, stun each friendly character. Remove all but three threat from the scheme, and it starts with five. And his encounter deck. Then their leader, their wrecker, three scheme, three attack. While he's attacking, he gets plus two attack if the attack is undefended. And he comes in with 18 health. And the day of reckoning scheme, he's a hard hitter. After threat is placed here, if 10 or more is there, deal two damage to each friendly character. Remove all but three threat from the scheme, and he comes in with six. which means he will be the active villain to start with, and his encounter deck. And then for our setup, we've got three recovery. We're a living legend, reduce the cost of the first ally, played each round by one. We can search our deck and discard pile for Captain America's shield upgrade and add it to our hand for setup, and that happens after we mulligan, starting hand size of six and 11 hit points. 
and Captain America, two thwart, two attack, two defense, and I can do this all day action. Discard one card from hand, ready Captain America. So we'll give our hero deck a quick shuffle. And draw our initial six cards. Getting a shield, which we're obviously going to discard. Haymaker, Fearless Determination, Enrage, Helicarrier, and another Haymaker. These are really not the cards I want to see. So we are mulligan all of them. So six new cards. Still didn't get what I wanted. So we're stuck with Uppercut, Shield Toss, our Helmet, a Shield Block is good, Heroic Strike, and Attack Team. And then we can search our deck and discard pile for Captain America Shield. And because it says so, shuffle our deck. And we are ready to begin. So put on our suit. And go ahead and swing at the wrecker for two, taking him down to 16. Then we're going to do a heroic strike. It's a hero action, deal six damage to an enemy. If you paid for this using a physical resource, stun that enemy. We'll use these three. Six damage, down to 10. And stunned. Then we'll put our shield into play, which will give us plus one defense and retaliate one. Using tack team for that. We'll end our actions, keeping this in hand, drawing four more cards. Getting enraged, our apartment, lockjaw, and tack team. And ready up. So one threat goes on our main scheme, and because of its forced response, all the side schemes get one. So five, four, six, and seven. Which means active villain stays on him. He's going to attack, but he's stunned. Then we get an encounter card. So you're dead meat. When revealed, deal one damage to the hero or ally with the fewest remaining hit points. That character is defeated this way. Place three threat on Wrecker's side scheme. So we are just going to take one damage. From 11 down to 10. Back to our turn. We'll put in Steve's apartment, so in alter ego form, we can exhaust this to draw a card and heal a damage. We we'll used enraged for that. And we're short on resources. So we will swing for two, taking the record down to eight. Discard Lockjaw to ready and swing again for another two. Taking Wrecker down to six. We'll end, we'll go ahead and discard Tack Team. Drawing four more cards. Getting Combat Training, Fearless Determination, Mockingbird, and a Super Soldier Serum. So these are some cards I would love to see in round one. So ready up, thread over here, bulldozer goes up to six, five, seven, and then eight. So Wrecker is still active. He's going to swing into Captain America. I'm not going to do anything. So three, four, five, move the active counter to the villain whose side scheme has the least threat. So over to Pile Driver. So we have five damage coming our way. We're going to Shield Block it. Retaliate one. Taking him down to five. And for an encounter card, since our active marker moved, Pile Driver has got an escape plan. When revealed, you are confused. If you're already confused, he schemes. Captain America doesn't know what's going on. So back to our turn. We are going to get plus one thwart and draw a card. 
getting strength. I just don't want to be confused anymore. So we're going to thwart just to get rid of that. Then we're going to put this into play with our strength. Then we will discard a card to ready and attack for two, taking him down to three. We'll keep this card in hand, drawing four. Getting enhanced reflexes, uppercut, attack team, and power of aggression. And readying. Crit on the main scheme. This goes to seven. This goes up to six. Up to eight, and then nine over here. So the wrecker is going to swing. We'll go ahead and defend. So it's just going to be three plus three more. So six damage, good grief. We can block three of that. So we're still taking three down to seven. Retaliate for one. Then we get an encounter card, Mystical Link. Place two threat on each side scheme. That's not any good. So this one goes to nine. That one goes to eight. This one goes to 10, which means stun each friendly character and reduce it down to three. And this one's going to go over two. So deal two damage to each friendly character and take it down to three. That did not go well. So for our turn, we're going to put in tack team. It's going to come in with three counters. We can exhaust this, remove a counter to deal two damage to an enemy. So there's two resources and a third. We get three counters. We're going to immediately use it to do two damage. Take the wrecker down since he kind of wrecked his last turn. So basically he's out of it. His side scheme's out of it. We don't have to worry about his cards anymore. Then we're going to put combat training into play, giving us plus one attack, paying power of aggression for it. So it gets two resources when using for an aggression card. Then we're going to flip one over. Use Steve Apartment to draw a card and heal a damage. So getting a heroic strike, going up to six health. That will end our turn. So we'll keep this and draw five more. Getting enraged, energy, power of aggression, the Hulk, and Agent 13. And ready up. Threat over here. One on this, which will take it to 10. So clearing the road, we're going to discard 10 cards off our deck, but keep three here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I guess we'll complete this force response first, which would have taken that up to nine, this up to four, which would have made him active which means when we deck ourselves, we'll get the encounter card from Bulldozer. And then we'll shuffle our hero deck. So nine and four. The way I'm assuming this triggers is this still stays over here till the next round. So he will be scheming for one, two, three, four. Then 
Then we get another encounter card. First one's an escaped convict. So this card comes out, it's got Surge, it's got a scheme of one, an attack of one, and health of two. And we're getting leading the charge. When revealed, discard the top X card of your deck where X is Bulldozer's attack. Place one threat on Bulldozer Scheme for each different card type discarded this way. So he's got an attack of three. So we've got an event and resource. So two more. So we just went to 10, now it's back up to nine again. So that goes away. But wait, we still have one more. Attached to Bulldozer. So plus one attack. After he attacks you, discard one card from the top of your deck for each point of damage dealt by this attack. So hero action, we can exhaust our hero and discard a card at random from your hand to discard this card. So back to us. All right, we're gonna sit down in our apartment to draw a card and heal. So attack team, up to seven. Then we're gonna go ahead and recover three, getting us up to 10. So Steve's ability, reduce the cost of the first ally played each round. So we're gonna bring in Agent 13 for two resources. That counts as the third. After it enters play, remove two threat from a scheme. So we're gonna take that off the main one. Then we're gonna bring in the Hulk with the power of regression. Then we're gonna spin tack team to put enraged on the Hulk to give him plus two attack and he takes plus one consequential damage after it attacks. Then we're gonna to flip to hero form, discard a card to ready and attack to get rid of the stunned card. We'll use our attack team to do two damage to the escaped convict. We'll have Hulk go after Bulldozer. So that's gonna do five damage, taking him down to 10. Then we're gonna discard the top card, which is a mental resource, which means we discard the Hulk. So five damage in and he's out. I'm gonna go ahead and have Agent 13 thwart for another two. Actually, I'm gonna take that off of Pile Driver. And she'll take a damage. We'll end her turn drawing five cards. Shield Block, Helmet, Mockingbird, Heroic Strike, and Enhanced Reflexes, and ready everyone up. Then we will get a threat over here. He's gonna go to 10, eight, and five. Put the marker over on him, then he's gonna spend all but three to have us discard 10 cards. There goes quarter of our deck. Then he's gonna attack with one, two, three, four, five damage. We're gonna do shield block to negate all that damage and retaliate for one. Taking him down to nine. Then encounter card, leading the charge. Discard the top X card to your deck where X is his attack. Place a threat on a side scheme for each different card discarded this way. So his attack is now four. One, two, three, four. And we've got three different card types. So right back up to six threat and back to our turn. So we're gonna play Heroic Strike, dealing six damage to an enemy. If we pay for it using a physical resource, stun it. So there's two of our resources. Here's our third. 
Six damage, taking him down to three. And he's stunned, which isn't going to matter because we're going to hit him for another three since we have combat training to take him out of the fight. So we'll just turn everything over. So now we're just dealing with Power Driver and Thunderball. And I'm going to go ahead and spin that to ready and attack for three, taking him down to 11. He will retaliate for one, taking us down to nine. And then we will have her fort for two on the main scheme. And while we're at it, use her last token on here to do two damage on Powell Driver, and that is not an attack, so we do not get retaliated on. I'll draw five cards. One, two, three, four, and five. Let's say we get our encounter card from here for decking ourselves. And ready. So threat over here goes up to nine and six. So he's officially back to being active. He's gonna attack, we will defend. So base three attack, four, five. We're blocking three, so we'll take two down to seven. And retaliate for one, taking him down to eight. Then we'll get another encounter card. So this one he's Found a hostage, attached to the villain side scheme. Threat cannot be removed from attached scheme by thwarting. As a hero action, a villain corresponding to the attached side scheme attacks you. Then we can discard this card. So basically this just prevents us from thwarting on his side scheme. And the next one, Pummel. We are in hero form. He attacks you. Power driver's tough, he gets plus two attack for this activation. So it's just gonna be a basic attack. And this is a good time for Agent 13 to step in the way. So one, two, three, nothing. So Agent 13, sacrifice yourself for Captain America. And we'll see if we can avenge her. We are gonna do an uppercut, deal five damage to an enemy. Using two resources on that, this will be a third. So he will go down to three and retaliate, taking us down to six. We'll then discard a card to ready and swing for three to knock him out of the game. But he does retaliate to take us down to five. Then we're gonna flip one over, rest on our couch to draw a card and heal, getting some super serum. Oops, wrong way. Up to six, not down to four. And we'll put this into play with these two resources. That will end our turn, we'll draw six cards. Getting Genius, Haymaker, another Haymaker, Heroic Strike, Enraged, and Lockjaw. And we will ready up here. Put a threat on the main scheme. And then over here, we're gonna go up to seven. Then he's gonna scheme four, three, plus deal of damage to the defending character. So we're gonna go down to five, but he is going up to 10 threat. So we're gonna knock him down to three. And we are gonna be stunned. Then for our encounter card, 
He's getting a ball and chain. Attach a Thunderball. After your tax, place a threat on the main scheme. That's a problem. Exhaust your hero and discard one card at random from your hand. Discard this card. That's going to be happening soon. All right, for our turn. Steve Rest, drawing a card, getting some energy. Up to six. We will go ahead and flip over and attack to get rid of our stunned status. Then we're going to do a heroic strike using these two resources and a third physical to deal six damage and stun the enemy. So now he is stunned down to 10. We're going to play Haymaker using Genius to deal three damage. Taking him down to seven. Then Haymaker again using Energy. Down to four. Then discard a card to ready to swing for another three, taking him down to one. That's all we can do. So we're gonna draw five cards. Getting Shield Toss, Tag Team, Uppercut, the Hulk, and Enhanced Reflexes. And ready up. Put a threat on the main scheme. Threat on Thunderball. He's going to attack, but he's stunned. Then the counter card. Move all threat from the side scheme with the least threat to the side scheme with the most threat. That scheme's forced re response is not triggered. Gain surge. So we get surge. So now it gets radioactive buildup. Excess damage dealt by Thunderball is placed as threat on his corresponding side scheme. And after he attacks, discard this card. And plus three attack. Glad that came out late in the game. And then on a the final turn, we've got a handful of awesome cards. We'll just go ahead and use Shield Toss, discarding the Hulk, to return this to our hand to do four damage to Thunderball. And that will in the game. So all the wrecking crew is knocked out and ready to go back to jail. So I hope you enjoyed this playthrough. So please click on the like button below and be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.